Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're talking about the Mayweather versus McGregor fight happening this Saturday night. Fighting fans and even many casual sports guys have all been very interested since it was announced that the 29 year old MMA champion Conor McGregor would be challenging the undefeated 40 year old boxer Floyd Mayweather. But despite that exciting and fresh premise, CNBC reported today that the ticket demand isn't living up to the hype. Check this out. The cheapest ticket for the event is currently sitting at $1,500 on the secondary market. To put that into perspective, the cheapest ticket for the Mayweather Pacquiao fight a few weeks ahead of the 2015 event was $4,000. But today, less than a week before the Mayweather McGregor fight, there's still a considerable number of tickets available for less than the face price. The bottom line, Ticket IQ's Jesse Lawrence says Mayweather McGregor ticket demand isn't living up to the hype. Well, I don't know if I would call $1,400 tickets not living up to the hype, but I guess I could see what they mean. The lower prices are also probably because most people are watching this shit online for free nowadays. But either way, I'm going to throw Mayweather and McGregor a bone here today. I'm going to show you guys my hype man skills. It's really not that hard with this fight. The guys already kind of hit on the racial element a few weeks ago in their shit-talking press conferences. A lot of media seem to be saying, I'm against black people. That's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Do they not know I'm half black? Yeah! I'm half black from the belly button down. Just like that. And that's good, yeah. Conor McGregor has some pretty legendary shit talking, I will admit. But with the fight coming up so soon, and the ticket sales and hype kind of dwindling down, I think it's time we take the gloves off, so to speak. Here's a little video I made that's gonna really get people pumped to see this fight. Hey AJ, roll that clip. This Saturday, sat Saturday, Saturday, this Saturday, live from the city of sin, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's gonna be the fight to end all fights. This Saturday, it's a race war. Black versus white, Ebony, Ivory, the undefeated American Floyd Mayweather is in for the challenge of his life. He's facing off against the younger European MMA master, Conor Anthony McGregor, who's also white. It's Civil War Part 2 up in this bitch. Who are you guys gonna root for? Do you stand with the blacks and Floyd Mayweather? Weather, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and the Democrats? Or will you side with the whites? White supremacy, Nazis, and the KKK, represented by Conor McGregor, who's also Irish. So we could get into an American versus Irish thing too, if you want. Or there's the younger McGregor versus the older Mayweather. Let's see, how else can we pit people against each other? There's also boxing fans versus MMA. The marketing options are really endless here. So, you see what I'm saying. By the way, who are you guys gonna root for? I think I'm gonna go with Conor McGregor, because I'm white. Although backing Mayweather because I'm American is also very tempting. But I really do have a feeling McGregor could win this thing. I mean, I really don't know much about fighting, but McGregor has been a beast his whole career. Sure, it is a little worrisome since he's switching to the boxing technique, and Floyd is undefeated. Mayweather isn't to be underestimated either. He very well could smoke him out in his own specialty, his speciality. Chancellor Palpatine, Sith Lords are our speciality. But then again, Floyd is getting a little old, so there is that. One thing for sure is, it looks like Mayweather has a lot more to lose here. His undefeated record for starters. And being 40, it's hard to imagine he's got many more good years left in him to fight. There's certainly a legacy for him to worry about here. McGregor, on the other hand, is still young and really has nothing to lose. That almost wraps it up, but before we go, there's another theory about this match. Something very interesting that could explain why the ticket sales are so low. If you look into things here a certain way, the whole fight could just be a joke, a ruse. A hustle, if you will. A way for the fighters in Vegas to make some easy money around some hype, and maybe some people just aren't buying into it. I mean, think about it. There's never been a cross sports match like this. Not this high profile. Especially not with boxing, which is very strict. I mean, you gotta get official licenses and everything for that. So it's very odd they let McGregor come and fight when he's never boxed before, technically. Let alone letting a 49 0 boxing champion face off against McGregor, who's never officially boxed before. That's very odd. There's no way the Vegas Boxing Commission would have okayed something like this 10 years ago. But boxing is getting less and less relevant as we speak. And in the meantime, MMA grows more and more year after year. Maybe this is their way of reaching out and trying to get viewership back to boxing. Here's some clips I found at Title Match Wrestling talking more about this theory of this all being a ruse. This isn't a fight. 
It's a joke. And we're all getting worked. Joseph Goebbels once said, and I quote, the bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. But I changed the saying. I changed the slogan. You know what the slogan is from Stand Up for Greatness? The bigger the lie, the more jabronis will watch it. <laughs> Those guys make some good points, sure, but this all could be a little too conspiratorial. Maybe the fighters generally want to see what happens, test their skills to the max, see who's not just the better boxer or martial artist. They could want to see who's the best fighter in the world. What do you guys think? Does Mayweather versus McGregor represent the fight between the races currently in 2017 America? Charlottesville is still fresh on everyone's minds. What about the idea that the whole fight is just a farce to make easy money? And who do you guys think is going to end up winning on Saturday anyway? Comment below and thanks for watching No Bull. Bullshit. See y'all next time. And in light of these new troubling developments, I highly suggest you guys join and follow my backup accounts. Since the possibility of YouTube shutting me down is higher now than ever, right now my Patreon page is my official backup page. And you can follow me on Twitter for updates. I know the Patreon costs $1 a month, but it's really the only way we can stay independent here on the channel, free from Google's tyrannical reign. Please consider joining there if you want to make sure this show stays afloat in the future. Thanks again for watching. One more thing, I want to give a special thanks to these amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are the best, you guys went above and beyond the rest, and I love you so much for it. If anyone else wants to donate or join our Patreon crew, link in the description. Thanks again.